Now, Overwatch is the much-anticipated Blizzard FPS coming out at the end of May, and we just got our first real hands-on as the general public with this game in the form of the beta that open is beta. free to play. I believe it's still out there. It was it was open actually? They said from the fifth to the ninth if you didn't pre-order the game, but I was actually playing it on the, the fourth, I believe, and I didn't pre-order the game, so you know, I'll take it. <laughs> if they want to let me play it an extra day early, I will take it. Uh, and so let's jump right into things and let's start breaking it down. Let's break it down. With presentation, uh, beautiful. It had smooth graphics, great looking characters, bright and vibrant feel to the whole entire world. Now, again, it's just a beta, so I'm pretty sure they held back a lot of the maps that they were going to show us. But the maps that they did show you, you really, they, they were well designed, well thought out. There's plenty of avenues to go. And if you don't know what Overwatch really is supposed to be, it's supposed to be an FPS MOBA combination. So really, you have paths to go. you got to control those paths to get to the objective and complete said objective. So presentation, it was spectacular. Beautiful. Everything was great. Uh, gameplay and controls will be the next thing we break down. Well, so at first, getting into it felt a little weird. It just didn't feel quite normal. I am used to more FPSs like the Destinies, like the Call of Duties out there, and this is definitely not those. Yeah, it's technically in the same genre, but very, very different. Not only do does each character have its own different way of moving, um, they some of them can have like super speed up. Like one guy can sprint, nobody else can sprint. One girl can just like warp here and there, nobody else can do that. They have lots of different ways of going about it. The controls are all pretty much basically the same. It's almost if you think about Super Smash Brothers, uh, just up B changes is an ability for them, and down B is the well L one is an ability for this guy. It's a totally different ability every time, but it, you know, so this, the controls are pretty easy. But the way you control them is is a little bit different. Also, I couldn't get used to for the first mm, 10, 15 minutes of playing the game that you don't zoom in to, to aim down the reticles. Uh, it's more like a PC shooter where you don't really zoom in as much and you kind of just move it over and boom, click and, and shoot. So it was cool. Now, I did get more and more comfortable with it as, as I went on and it felt better and better. And especially as I got to know the characters, uh, I felt better and better. Now, there are about, uh, I want to say about 16 characters that they let you fight. All of them very, very unique from each other. So that was pretty cool. And it's pretty fun figuring out, you know, which character you like to play best with, which one fits your play style, you know. I get the impression, <laughs> and like I said, there are, huh? I, I get the impression that um, it's kind of a, a weird analogy, but like a League of Legends FPS. You have. I just, I just said it was an FPS in a MOBA. Yes, but I said League of Legends. Okay, you just said a more specific MOBA. Got the one that everyone knows. Gotcha. Everybody knows Dota as well. Yeah, vaguely. But yeah, yeah. So that's that's kind of what they're going for, which is cool. It's it's an interesting idea. It's not something that we've really gotten. Uh, now, this is where I start to get into a little bit of the negatives. The gameplay, now it's just a beta, so don't get me wrong, everything can kind of change, but the, the modes that you play are pretty simple. It's either capture point and escort uh, of what they call the payload, which is just a truck to another point, or defend the point and don't let the truck come to your point. That's it's really the only game mode I've seen in there. There's probably some other ones here or there. There's no deathmatch that I, I could tell. And again, they're probably holding a lot back because it is just a beta, pretty much as a demo. So that being said, you know, it's not the biggest detractor, but it did feel like it was getting a little stale just playing the same game modes over and over in the same maps over and over. I only had the game for three days. You would hope that even, and they gave us like five maps. You would hope that it wouldn't quite feel like that after, you know, three, four days, but it kind of did start to feel a little stale. So that kind of, you know, that's actually a there. pretty bad sign for gameplay for such a multiplayer focused game. Cause you usually think the other multiplayer focused games, especially FPSs, um, there's only a handful of, of areas that people really concentrate on. And, and usually, you know, yeah, usually like the call of duty team deathmatch keeps that thing going, you know? particular maps usually are, are pretty big like it's usually there might be a million maps but there's a handful that people spend a lot of time on so 
And, and I, do I expect them to have only that game mode to come out? No, I expect more game modes to come out when it launches. Uh, now, we don't need any more characters. That's one thing they did amazing. The, the cast of characters is incredibly diverse and entertaining. Again, got into my controls and gameplay. It's just there's a lot of people to choose from and getting picking which one you like is best. So let's just jump into over the, the overall. Uh, overall, it was very, very fun beta. Um, getting used to all the characters, learning some of their little tricks and stuff, and and figuring out which one really fits your play style is probably one of the most fun things about the beta so far. Because I really did enjoy, okay, I'm going to play as this guy for this entire match. All right, sucked as him. All right, I'm going to pick her. All right, uh, I was pretty good with her. All right, I'm going to pick him now. Okay, okay, and these are similar types. Okay, you know, and then just really honing in onto like four or five characters that I really enjoyed playing with, and I got actually pretty good, I'd say. I do have a Twitch stream up. It's only 23 minutes long. I don't know why it should be a lot longer than that, but I have it where I went one match. I went 30 and 0. The next match I went like 28 and 1. Uh, I got really good with some characters and it was a lot of fun. And I felt like an absolute beast in that game for a while. But and then that kind of went away because I guess I started playing against better players. But everything, you know, it, it got really fun, especially when I narrowed down to the couple characters that I really enjoyed playing with and that fit my play style. Now, another aspect of this is it is very team oriented. It's not as much you can do with just the beta because you can't really, well, I guess you could get a team together, but it's a little bit harder to get a team together and really start playing with them because they even say it when you're picking your characters, there's six people per side. And if you don't have enough tank characters, they say, oh, you didn't pick any tank characters. You didn't pick enough offensive characters or healers or, or builders or this, that, and the third. And so it really does make a difference when you can balance out your teams. So that'll probably get a lot more fun and more important when the regular game comes out. Because you'll be like, oh, hey, I played with this guy. Hey, let me send him a friend request. And boom, you're really getting into things. The only problem I have is that it kind of gave me the same feeling as the Star Wars Battlefront beta. Ooh. Where I had a lot of fun with that, but I really didn't have very much fun with the overall release. The uh, the big release of Battlefront beta of Battlefront. I I bought the game, I played it for about a week, and then I stopped. So uh, I'm kind of in this limbo of do I want to buy the game or do I not? I don't really know because, again, it's going to be the same feeling Battlefront did, and I was way more hyped about Battlefront. I mean, I we talked about that a hundred times on the show. I yeah. only talked about Overwatch like two or three times. And, you know, if it's giving me that feeling, it, it's, it's a little weird. But falling back on everything, it's a unique game. It's, it's creating its own genre almost, and it's doing it in a really fun and exciting way. And if any company is going to go out there and do that, Blizzard is definitely the company I want doing it because... They just make good games. Simple as that. They just make yeah, awesome games. I'm trying to think of, do we have any really bad games from Blizzard? No. Not that I know of, at least. Yeah, I I can't think of it. There's been a, like some that's franchises that have had, you know, less great entries, but that's about it. Yeah, but that, that, there's a reason that they take a decade between releasing games of, like, Diablo 2. And a decade later, Diablo 3, Star Wars, I mean, sorry, StarCraft. A decade later, StarCraft 2. You know, they, they do that on purpose because they really want to take their times with their games. So I respect and honor that. Um, and I'm just hoping Overwatch becomes one of those, another one of their catalog that you're just like, yep, five-star game. Now, I'm not going to rate the beta. I did, I've did. i rated betas before. It's not fair to anybody um, to rate a beta because, again, it is not the full game. I will say that I plenty of things that made me excited, a couple of things that kind of took away from that excitement though so but yeah hit us up let us know what you think did you play the beta are you with me uh do you think it's better or do you think it's worse hit us up let us know comments down below of course at what's my face on twitter who on facebook always good ways of getting a hold of us that's it